Hello everyone. Today we'll see how we can use the UDIM tiling UV workflow in Vanilla Blender. So this is the low poly version of uh, 3D model right now I'm working on. Um, all the parts are separated and named as what they are. So if we look for each part's UV, let's go to edit mode and see. The purse is separated in five tiles. Now, this is the first tile, but there is no other tile right now because uh, right now it is not there. But we'll see how we can do it. So, first of all, press new image, and it will be easier to see here. And we can make it. 4k and then use the tiled option which will help us to enable UDIMs and we'll use UV grid press ok now this is the first one ok go to edit mode again see this is the first one but there we need some other tiles also so what we have to do is go there again and press N images. See, there are some options to increase, and we have to press it. Now, the second, now we need to enable the third one. okay so now we have five tiles so how do we know which tiles on we are working just select this and it will show a orange marker an orange grid so we'll know on which tile we are working on so this is the low poly version of the model and we need to make a high poly version for the baking purpose so let's assume we'll export this mesh so i've already exported it so this is the high poly version and this is the low poly version we need to export the low poly on here and this is my preset selected visible and yeah that's all for the it gets the job done now suppose we have done the exporting that's why i'm not saving the file here and our file is here this is the high poly and this is the low poly so let's open substance painter okay substance painter is now open and we have to drag and drop the low poly version well we can work in 2k so the viewport will not lag open gl and select this one use uv tile workflow don't uncheck just check this one and yeah we are good to go now go to the texture set settings for baking everything and now we have to select the high poly file where is it this one now we will bake just before that we have to tweak some settings here and uh, in ambient occlusion what i do is increase the secondary rays to the full so the fullest secondary rays will make the gradients of ambient occlusion more smoother that's worked for me um, 
thickness position we don't need this too the rest are okay id oh before making the id map select mesh id or polygroup and random now we are good to go for baking let's bake okay the baking is done and if we see the texture set list now there are five tiles we don't need to do anything there what we do is um, delete the first texture and uh, start texturing by folder by masking the geometry you know for example this one will be main body I'm clicking the masking when I when I click the mask option you see there are uh, option for mask type UV tiles or mesh names so if our UV tiles are properly organized okay then we can obviously select this one but uh, for this tutorial purpose I will follow the mesh names because this one is more popular and widely used so see this one is unchecked but i want this one will be only checked so alter and left click so yeah and click here now if i add any material there for your understanding see only this part is affected so we continue the texturing part okay so our texturing is done and we will export the texture sets so Control shift e for exporting menu and this is my exporting folder and image size 4k now we'll select mesh maps and no we'll select the PBR metallic roughness okay and if we want to export the ambient occlusion then like this select everything copy and paste now let change the name to AO and channel okay now now it will export everything in five list base color emissive height metallic normal roughness so we will export now so this is our texture sets we exported from substance painter I have deleted the emissives because we don't need emissive now we have to open the low poly okay we have to open our low poly version again uh, if we go to the shading view what we see is there is no texture yet and every part is materialed with the same one the cache register this one is also this one is also same see and now if we press ctrl shift t after enabling the uh, node wrangler then import oh see we have our texture <laughs> but not in this way so if we go to our shading editor and change the type of textures udim tile udim tile same just wait for a while it is combining again oh 
so we are here. Wow. So thanks for watching.